Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Misha. Thank you guys for joining me yet again for another review. We are back, y'all. Listen, this is a brand new show called The Never Ever Mets. Now, the title is a fool, but this show right here, this show is something else. I do not know what's going to come of this show, but the way that this episode ended on, y'all gonna have to do something, okay? Y'all gonna have to get y'all selves together. Child, listen, if you are new here, then welcome. I give lighthearted reviews with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of shade and a whole lot of detail. If you're back for a second or third time, then welcome back. Y'all, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Share with a friend. Hit that notification bell so that you will be updated each and every time I upload a video. Now, child, let's get into it if we gonna get into it. So this is a new show. It's called The Never Ever Mets. Seven couples, seven strangers picked to live in a house. Honey, you're multiplying by two. When people stop being polite and start acting a fool because they never ever met. That's exactly what's going on here. Seven couples will share a house and finally get a chance to meet each other. The way that it's filmed, it gives me family or fiance meets love is blind, meets bad girls club, and they had a baby with love after lockup. Because some of these people should be in prison. <laughs> Some of these damn people should be in jail. Do you hear me? In the pen. So they must decide whether or not they're going to stay together or if they're going to leave single. Now I'm already seeing that everybody should just call it quits. And I do mean everybody. But maybe that's just me. So everybody we see, they're getting ready to meet each other. The ladies are talking about how excited they are. The men are like, yeah, you know, I've been talking to her for a few years, man. And, uh, you know, I got a lot riding on this. I'm going to tell you right now. If I'm talking to a man, see, this is why I don't do dating apps and this is why I don't like long distance relationships. This is why even in school, honey, in high school, you know how in high school, some of the girls had boyfriends at other schools. I couldn't even do that. If you can't see me, then it's a no. And as a grown damn man, you should make concessions to see me. Like say what now? So anyway, the first person we meet is Shay. She's 30 and she's with Josh and he's 32. She said they met on Facebook and in 12 years, they've never met. Yes, y'all heard that right. 12 years, baby. I know people that meet the same day on Facebook. Okay, same night. Okay, that soon to be ex-husband, honey, met somebody on Facebook, cheated on me that day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta make light of it, honey. I gotta laugh to keep from crying. He might not be it, sis. 12 years and you've never met Joshua? Girl, goodbye and good night. Moving forward. Up next, we meet Joanna. She's 31. They call her Jody. And Aaron, he's 27. She says she met him on social media. They have a lot of mutual friends. And um, Aaron gives me, I don't know, he give me he give me a little sassafras a little bit in them pictures, honey. It's giving Zoolander. It's giving pose for the camera. Now click, click. Pose for the camera. Now click. Click, honey, it's giving doing old school dance and old school dance. <laughs> Baby, it's giving get me body. Do you hear me? Shout out to Beyonce and them. She joins Shay at the house, right? So they've been virtually dating for nine months. She met him on social media. They still have not seen each other. So then we meet Sienna. Sienna is 43 and she's with Brandon, who's 35. They've never met, but they have been dealing with each other for 10 months. Brandon said he has small kids, so that's what stops them from meeting up. I'm not buying it. Where are the kids' mother? Okay, like, what are you talking about? You have small, like, if you have sole custody of your children, I understand. But, baby, Spirit got flights flying out all day, every day. Sometimes they're $49. I'm, just, I'm sorry, y'all. It just seems like these grown people are in these relationships and just have not made the effort to actually meet because he has three small kids is that what we going with uh, okay now maybe we'll get more into the story but i'm going based off first impressions no i'm not digging up your past no i'm not going to your instagram i'm going strictly based off this one hour edited show moving forward so she comes into the house and shay is telling them that she's been with her boo for 12 years poor shay mm -mm -mm. i'm not trusting none of these men based on their pictures none of them Everybody got something to hide and they ain't fooling me. <laughs> they ain't fooling me. So next up we meet Alexis. She's 30 and Dominique is 31. They've been together for six months. Baby, they should separate. 
what they gotta do separate talking about him and you separate honey i need to get away from each other shout out to avant get away from each other expeditiously she said that he makes her feel like a natural woman honey makes her feel like she's the only woman on earth child dominique is a whole ass clown but if that's what you like then that's what you like so next up we meet diamond with the y she's with aaron and aaron is 51 now mind y'all there are two aaron so this is aaron h aaron h is 51 years old they've been talking for five years he cheated and then they got back together baby he is 51 years old if he's not ready to get it together then forget it okay there's no reason for you to be hanging around with aaron at 51 years old and he's still cheating and whatnot so all of the ladies are looking around they realize that the rooms are giving real world meets charm school and diamond with the y ain't with it she was like yeah i don't do girls honey because they get a little too catty for me so i mean i'm good on that well girl i don't know what you gonna do but all y'all sleeping in these twin beds and y'all gonna get in here and like it so then we meet millie and she's with Corey. now mind you both of them live in la and they have never ever met child please three years and y'all ain't never seen each other oh child it's really hard out here and millie girl you are a baddie what are we resorting to these days like is it really like this out here y'all let me tell you something i know that it's hard out here as far as dating especially the older that you get but if i live in the same city with you and you're not making an effort to see me then why am i dealing with you so all the ladies are in the house right they come outside to sit on the stoop and they meet Miss Taronda Jones. She's the host. So she's telling them that each of them will meet their person and they're actually going to live with them. I said, oh, child, it's right here finna be a fool. The men have been planning a first date. She said, yeah, y'all go upstairs and, you know, clean up your pocketbook. And <laughs> that's what my grandmother calls it, your pocketbook. Mm-mm. Baby, that's old school and country. Go on, get your pocketbooks cleaned up, honey. Don't let nobody see your pocketbook. Keep your purse closed until they are worthy of it. Baby, Shay is still telling everybody about these 12 years. There's at, they're asking her if she trusts him. And she's like, well, I don't really know. Ma'am, please stop being so eager to repeat that. Just stop. Shay, you're so sweet. But please stop telling everybody it's been 12 years. So Alexis is talking and she's saying that Dominique has a temper and he wants more kids. That's the only problem that they have. But she does not want more kids. Okay, well then why are you wasting time with him? And I ain't dealing with no temper. Unless you are a toddler, you should not be having temper tantrums. That's not going to work for me. Okay, I've already gone through those things with my eight-year-old son. I'm not about to be going through it with no damn grown man. If you cannot control yourself and regulate your emotions and you are throwing yourself at the, the foot of the bed because you're mad, it's not going to work for me. A temper. Girl, end up on Dateline if you want to. In the next scene, the ladies are on the way to the dates. Sienna is on her way to meet Brandon. The fact that his excuse is his small kids, that raises antennas for me. But let's see how this goes. Brandon and Sienna. So she walked in, but I feel like he wasn't enthusiastic enough for me. Was it just me? Because when she walked in, I don't really feel like he was thinking she was giving the judge. Now, granted, we're going to have to work on the wardrobes and whatnot and the hair sitting, how the hair sitting. But, and that's on all y'all. That ain't just, you know, but I'm just saying, like, he didn't seem exciting enough for me. I was like, what is happening? So they're doing a cooking class and I'm not exactly seeing the chemistry just yet, but we shall see dominique and alexis so he planned a yoga date um no sir that's the first flag on the play the first time that i'm seeing you ever and you planning a yoga date you want me to get all sweaty and whatnot the first time i meet you it's a hell now nah for me so he said when he saw her the body wasn't hidden for him baby he got his damn nerve looking how he looking looking like he eat them hot cheetos that joanna was eating in the in another scene he looked like he eat them hot cheetos for breakfast lunch and dinner so I know you ain't trying to talk about her physique. See, that's why I upload filter-free pictures. You're not about to act like I'm out here catfishing you. What you see is what you shall get. Okay, like what? When he said that, I was all thrown off. I said, not the body not hidden for you. Have you seen you? Anyway, moving forward. Greg and Millie. So these are the two that live in the same city but haven't seen each other in three years. He said his insecurities kept him from meeting her. 
So she arrived, but he was acting like they seen each other yesterday. I said, sir, if you don't run up to her and get excited, he was giving me a little bit Lenny Kravitz, but he play games. Okay, talking about, yeah, she look good, but you know, I can't really tell her that because women love men that play hard to get. No, thanks, Mr. Nose Ring. We do not like men who play childish games. Where you get that from? Whoever gave you that advice, take it back. Wrap it up and send it back. We don't like men who play hard to get. We want to know that you like us a little bit more than we like you. I don't know who told you that. Dominique and Alexis. So, baby, we back over here with the ghetto yoga. So they sit down, they're talking, and he was looking like he was disgusted. Then he says in his confessional, you know, at first I was kind of negative because it really wasn't bodying how I thought she should be bodying. But then I switched up how I was thinking, and I feel like we can work on it. You just want a free trip, some free food, and some free sex and you ain't fooling me i really feel bad for alexis because he just wants to have sex i saw not a yoga pose in sight and that was the most ratchet put it right here downward facing dog i've ever seen okay that's how i got pregnant <laughs> baby that is not no yoga pose that is a dominique pose and you ain't fooling me greg and millie so back over here with the la people that have not seen each other and they live in the same city she was like, yeah, it just feels good. I feel really good about our meeting. Baby, y'all could have met for lunch, living in the same city. I just don't understand that. Sienna and Brandon. So they're eating gnocchi because that's what they're cooking in their cooking class. Now she seems super giddy, but I really can't get a vibe on Brandon. Josh and Shay. So he's standing there with some flowers waiting on Shay. He said he fears that she may not like him in person. But Shay is somebody that he can confide in and his childhood trauma has really kept him from meeting her, but he really does want love. Uh, Shay, side note, baby, what you got on? You were damn near naked down at the pier. Girl, say what now? Now that's neither here nor there, that's just a side note. But why you got this little bit toe dress on? I mean, Shay seems so sweet, so I hope Josh ain't with the BS. Cause you talking about your childhood trauma kept you from meeting her, I don't buy it. Chris and Sandia. Chris and Sandia meet. He said that they haven't met each other, but the sexual chemistry is crazy. And they actually had on matching outfits on accident. Like they both had on like a baby blue color. I said, oh, okay. Not y'all max matching on accident. Okay. He planned something that she's always wanted to do. Now they haven't shown it to us yet, but in this scene, he said he was impressed by her beauty. Aaron and Joanna. Aaron, honey, I hate those earrings. I hate a dangling earring. I'm sorry. I, that's my preference. Okay. I don't like a man in a dangling earring. And you didn't have not one, but two. But Aaron was being sweet, honey. He really was trying. She was walking up. He just standing there like he's posing for one of those love novels. I said, oh, child, honey. All he needed was a fan and his hat to be blowing in the wind. Sir, let's greet the lady. Okay. She walking up already complaining. She ain't been there five minutes. I mean, he's standing over there. Then he start walking all slow. And I'm like, why you doing all that for me? Ma'am, he likes you. So normally when a man likes you, he tries to put on the Ritz. I know it's new. Now, I don't think that Joe was interested in him at all, especially upon first meeting him. Shay and Josh. So they're back on the pier and she's asking why he's been avoiding her for 12 years. He's like, yeah, we just had to find a mutual place. You haven't found a mutual place in 12 years, a decade plus two. You haven't found a mutual place. Now I'm happy he being nice to Shay, but um, he said he had a 13 year old and a three year old. How sway? Okay. Shay said that y'all have been dealing with each other for 12 years. So unless this is some new math, one plus one is equal in a three-year-old. Now, how, where they do that at? <laughs> Baby, that does not make any damn sense. So not only have you been avoiding her, you probably were in a whole relationship and probably still is. Child, I just don't trust him. Because how you have a three-year-old, but you've been dealing with her for 12 years? Let me do the math. Okay, so if he, if she been with him for 12 years, subtract three for the three-year-old, okay? eight nine, nine ten eleven twelve because nine plus three is twelve did you take a break nine years ago i mean he carried one now we're on the pier josh okay you ain't fooling me i don't know what's going on shay you telling everybody about the 12 years honey what about the three-year-old aaron and joanna so she's wondering why there's wine on the table and he doesn't drink 
Poor thing. He couldn't even use the wine opener. He was trying so hard to impress her on this here TV. And she was just not having it. Joanna is mad about everything, though. I mean, he's just trying to do what he thinks that you like, girl. You just don't like this man and his earrings. And that is okay. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm finna quit acting silly, y'all. But y'all know I ain't. But if you don't like him and his earrings, you don't have to be mean to him. Okay, because I think your attitude sucks. It really does. He's trying to make conversation. She's totally somewhere else. And in his confessional, he said he thought it went well. And she's like, yeah, I give the date a six. He made an effort. And I think that that should be something you recognize. It's not not. He could have had you in that downward facing dog. That's probably where you want to be judging on this next scene. Sandia and Chris. Honey, he took on a helicopter ride. Now, that's how you make a first impression. Now, I was loving this for her in that moment because I said, oh, OK, owned and upped the budget. Now, I don't know if he paid for it or what's going on, but it seems like this is something that may have come out of his pocket. And the fact that this is something that she always wanted to do and he did it. I thought that was so sweet. So, child, we over here with Aaron, 51 and Diamond with the Y. So she shows up. He's hugging her, rocking her from side to side. He said about two years ago, he gave up seeing her and he made a wrong turn. Unless you were on a damn street, you don't make no wrong turn in our relationship. You either cheating or you faithful. Okay, that's what it is. He said, yeah, I like my women BBW. So, you know, she thick and that's what I really like. At 51 years old, sir, you couldn't make your way to where she was. Probably because you was living with a wife or a, a living lover or something. I just don't trust nothing you talking about. They sit down to talk and she's like, wait a minute. So what I want to know is so we can move on. How could you show a ring on Facebook that you were going to use to propose to another woman? Diamond with the Y. OK, why are you even sitting across from him? Huh? Say what now? Oh, to be on the show. OK, girl, I hope your following grows. Moving forward. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to be selling myself short for this old Cadillac driving player in his fedora. It is no way. He got a diamond in the back, sunroof top, digging the scene with a gangster lean. Woohoo! <laughs> Baby, he literally got a diamond with the Y in the back. Girl, he playing in your face. I do not know why you sitting here with this man. Diamond said they decide to go exclusive. Then he put an engagement ring on Facebook, meant for another woman. So she's asking him why. Baby, why ask why? Why? Huh? He said, you know, I had given up. Now, I apologize. I'm asking for your forgiveness. So where's the fiance? That's what I want to know. Diamond with a Y, you deserve love with an L. Because he's a fool with an F. Moving forward. So child, everybody's back at the house. Joanna and Dominique are getting along real good, honey, because they're both from Chi-Town. And they're both from Chicago. Now, I can see these men looking at the other women. Because y'all seem like, especially you, Dominique. Ew. Okay, I can see you looking at the other women. So Aaron is talking to Alexis. And he's over there spitting bars. Now, Aaron is the one that was out with Joanna with the two earrings. And Alexis is the one that was in the downward facing Dominique over there at the yoga time. Okay, so I just want y'all to make sure y'all keep it clear. They're over there talking and he's like, I'm a rapper. So she said, oh, okay, rap something for me. So he starts rapping. So then Dominique got enough nerve to be jealous when he don't even like her body. Wasn't you just over there kicking with Joanna? Did she get mad about that? Like, what is the problem? What is the issue? That ego is something else. You don't want her, but you don't want nobody else to have her. And that's how people end up on the news. That's not how this works. If you don't think you're going to be attracted to her or you don't really want a relationship with her, then you need to leave. She has a right to mix and mingle with everybody in the house, not just you. So then Aaron and Diamond with the Y, they walk in, right? So in the room, Shay and Alexis are in there telling Aaron H, the 51-year-old, talking about, you need to teach these boys how it's done. We already told her she ain't gonna have to worry about nothing with you because you're an older man. You need to teach these boys. Um, Somebody needs to teach him first. Child, he probably got a whole fiance. And Diamond with the Y just up there grinning? Child, absolutely not. At the table, Chris did a complete 180. Now, that's the one that took the other girl on the helicopter ride. He's over there saying that he gives his girl a few days and then he just ghosts her. So then he starts telling them, yeah, me and Sandia, we're not a couple. Like I have many women, many women flirt with me. Okay. I do what I want. And again, why are you here? Chris, I knew you were starting off too strong. See, every time I put just a little bit of faith in y'all, y'all show out. Why are you doing that? 
You sitting there showing out in front of these men. Now she's over there listening. She's within earshot and she can hear them talking. Okay. She's like, yeah, it's really making me uncomfortable. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Baby, if he going to talk like that with you, with you in within earshot, he don't give a damn. And you should have spoken up instead of letting them tell you to go away. Don't let them shoo you away. I would have said, no, this is news to me. Why are you in this space with me? Child, please. I would have escorted him right on out. Moving forward. Back at the other table, Alexis is making fun of Greg. And Greg is the one that went out with Millie. Millie, I have to say, girl, you are a baddie. Do not let Greg play in your face in the same city. Girl, anyway, Alexis is making fun of Greg in his hoochie daddy shorts. So she kept saying, oh, you got the hoochie daddy shorts on. You had them on this morning. You got them on tonight. Hoochie daddy, hoochie daddy, hoochie daddy, hoochie daddy. She just keeps saying it, right? So Dominique was growing more and more upset as she was saying it. But he was trying to suppress his crazy because we are in the first episode. But he's livid. So now it's 2.40 a.m. Mind you, they gone off that liquor. They've been drinking. They've been to- talking. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. And they've been sitting there drinking and whatnot. So now he turning up. He's letting it be known that he did not like her flirting. So he kept saying, yeah, how would you feel if I just start telling women they got a big butt? They got a fat ass. How would you like if I'm telling women that? She said, okay, okay, I'll give you that. Okay, I'm sorry. I should not have been saying anything about the hoochie daddy shorts. Now she apologizes to him. But in the confessional, she's like, I'm just wondering why couldn't he have pulled me to the side? Girl, because he wants to embarrass you. That's the type of man that will embarrass you in front of your family, in front of your friends, in front of your co-workers, in front of everybody. He's an embarrassment. You made him feel away. Now he wants to embarrass you in front of everybody. He said, yeah, I'm going to start telling girls they got a fat butt. So they're laughing right now. He's kind of got her in like a little bit of a chokehold, but it's one of those ones where she's leaning into him and she's laughing. So everybody thinking it's cool. These two are a 911 call waiting to happen. The laws will be at y'all's house and they will come back more than once in one night. And one of you will go to jail. Okay, Dominique, you will go to jail. So then this dude, y'all, now y'all listen to this. I have never seen this happen on OWN. OWN, you giving real Zeus cosplay. Now, I don't know what y'all got going on, but OWN, you really need to protect our black women. This right here was triggering for me. So this dude started bucking up on her, bucking up like he going to do something. So he bucking up on her. So then he pushed her and then he got physical. So he pushed her. He kind of grabbed her by the neck and yoked her up and pushed her back. And he was bucking up in her face like he ready to fight her like she a man on the street. They need to be asked to leave because he is physically violent and abusive. And if he does that with the cameras up, what is he going to do when the cameras go down? I don't like no man to get in my personal space and get to talking over me and being real. I don't even like sudden movements. When you've gone through domestic violence, I don't like sudden loud noises. I don't like when people move suddenly. And the way that that man did her with the cameras up, child, I was totally triggered. I said, this is a mess. And I hope that somebody was running up to check him about putting his hand on this woman. All the men just sitting here. Why are y'all just sitting run up on him and remove him from her face like I know y'all don't know him but where are the men and she needs to leave him alone because he's unhinged for real if he's already swinging on you and it's the first day and you've never met him before now what I thought was strange is the fact that she said yeah he has a temper so girl you can tell he has a temper even through your phone conversations ain't no way I would have shown up for him and that was the end of the episode listen we might have to have some lives for this show because the way this is starting out if they do not ask them to leave and i just want to make this clear alexis this is of no fault of your own but the environment is already toxic and if the two of you are getting physical then it needs to end dom needs to not talk to anybody he's unhinged he's scary and he's crazy as hell Tell y'all comment down below and tell me if you watched The Never Ever Mets. This show right here was something else. Anywho, I'll catch y'all next Friday. Please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, spread love, not germs. Peace.